Hi! So today every room is going to be a different class slash subjects in The Sims 4. Now this is going to be based on the new high school pack we got. So in The Sims basically there's a number of different classes you can take. So all together you get like eight subjects but I'm only going to do five today. So these are my different rooms and then I'm going to have a look in the high school pack and see what we get to make a classroom. So the first one is going to be for art. I'm trying to think back to my classroom and I swear they didn't have like carpet or wood. They had like sort of like I don't know but I know it wasn't them so I've kind of gone for this but I might change it as I go and then I've gone for this wallpaper that comes with the high school pack so obviously we need easels because obviously but when I had my lessons we didn't have like a small desk we almost had like a bar type of desk that was really high up and then we had you know those really uncomfortable chairs you used to get in science lessons we had them in art which I didn't really understand but you know okay so I think for this area over here I'm gonna make a little section where you can just come and paint so you might not necessarily have a lesson but you can just come in here and paint and chill. So I'm pretty sure this is all you need to have an actual lesson and then maybe you just click it to have a lesson? Not sure but anyway we have to have it. I'm not really feeling these. These aren't like they're not cute but we haven't got many options for single desks and honestly we all used to just like sit by each other. We never had like single desks. It used to be like two to a desk and then you know the world's most uncomfiest chairs would always be in the classroom, you know. You there for an hour and a bit? Yeah, no, you don't get a comfy chair. <laughs> and then I remember in ours, we just had like a load of shelves on here and there was just literally random art projects on there that had been there for like ages and probably years and no one knew who they were, but you know, they look nice. So that's what we're gonna have up here. And obviously we need about 20 of these because it's just not art without them. Oh, these are pretty. What are these from? Are these from base game? Are these new? They're so nice. Okay, these can go on the wall. You know, there's always like a bowl of fruit or like the little stick man. They'd be like, draw this. And you'd be like, really? This is just so boring. And the stick man obviously give me bloody nightmares because I couldn't draw it. And these are from Get Famous. So I'm just going to size them down. I need to move everything. Everything's in the way. I swear like art class was literally the messiest organized mess you ever seen in a classroom to be honest. Oh that's cute, a little parrot on it. And there'd just be paint everywhere, you know? Like, you'd be like, where's the paint? Like, I don't know, which one do you want? The bloody everywhere? Yeah, so like they had like loads of like crappy art projects like this that someone made like 20 years ago but still chilling there, you know, that type of art. We got these makeup brushes from the high school pack but I think they just look like normal brushes and they're so cute so they can live up here. Honestly I'm just gonna shove a load of stuff around because it is the messiest classroom you can get. Okay this can be like the little stick man that causes my nightmares because I couldn't draw it properly. He can be chilling there. And you know they'd always like put a random table in front of you. Is this just my school? And be like right draw what you want and it had like a rabbit it have like honestly the most random stuff and it's like right pick one you want and draw it but you know what i really enjoyed that it was quite like calming sometimes and frustrating at the same time because you can't do it but you want to do it imagine being like sponsored by slush puppy if you've got the pack have you actually seen the room what what is supposed to be the art room i'm assuming because it's got easels in it's actually awful like i don't know how any sim would want to go there and feel like they want to paint because you just wouldn't because it's awful like the school's not even colorful like honestly the trailer looked so fun and so nice and then we get it and it's like it's so ugly like the hallways like really this is what they did so here is my art classroom what do we think honestly i love it like i would happily go in here and draw for hours like it just looks so nice and chilled really well apparently i can't save it until i've got all the bloody requirements so i'm just gonna have to put random things in the background give me a moment do you know what thank god that they got the high school requirement thing because honestly i couldn't be asked going around you need a chair mat really really the principal has its own desk why are these not classing as lockers so are these the only ones that class as lockers? Okay, that makes no sense. Right, can I save it now? Thank you. Anyway, let's do science next. I feel like I want a really colorful wall for science because in my head I'm thinking like the planets and things. So like the galaxy, I don't know if we get anything like that. Hmm, might take this from Strangerville actually. That's kind of cool. For the actual lessons, I will put these out in the front again. Again. I might take these desks from Strangerville and put them there because they're, they're very sciencey, aren't they? And I'm pretty sure there's like a kids activity 
set that you can do. I don't know if it helps any adult skills. Okay, here we go. So we've got these things that I can put on the table over here. So we've got science projects. How cool are these? These came with parenthood. I love these. I always wanted to learn so much about the planets and things in school, but we just mainly did chemistry and physics was like all this boring stuff. But the planets are so smart. And then I feel like we're going to need computers in here. So we'll put some in the back. We get so many trophies as well. Honestly, the random bits you find, great. Still, never understood what this was for, but they can live here on the shelf from Dream Home Decorator. That's the thing, I never really enjoyed science in school, but then I went on to do science in uni. Honestly, I know, mental. I did zoology in uni and honestly I had a great time. It was, it was very interesting. I always forget about this section. It's like the little fruit bowl here and you get so many smart things for the walls. Like look how pretty that is. And then in the corner, probably just like a nice bookshelf full of books, which oh, these are so ugly. This is from the university pack, just not feeling it. Honestly, the best bookshelves are from Realm Magic and Stranger Things. Stranger Things? <laughs> Strangerville. I don't even watch Stranger Things. Okay, so here is my science class. You've got the things from Strangerville. You've got the little rockets on planets. It's very cute. Okay, two classrooms done. Let's go to the next. Right, this is going to be math class. Honestly, the worst subject ever. I hated it. It was so hard. Like, why did they make it so hard? Like, you know, give us a break. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure it was yellow, the classroom we had, but not like a happy yellow, like, you know, a sad yellow. Like, honestly, this desk reminds me of math because it's just so sad and a bit stressful and doesn't look nice. <laughs> Did anyone else have the door facing the back as well, the classroom? That was weird. Trying to make it a bit more happier. I'll add some nice colorful seats. I do like these seats actually, they're quite pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to put in the math class. Like, is there any like um, Sims posters? Right, we'll have a look in Deba because I'm pretty sure that there is a place where they have calculators. Oh look, tissues for when I cry because the Bloody math exam's too hard. <laughs> See, once again, this is my point going off a random tangent, but like if you click on this, this gets you this. Now, you wouldn't even think that. Like, look how pretty that one is. They're so nice. Oh, they literally had a science one, didn't they? Typical. Well, it can live in math now. You'd hate to be the kid that sat here and the teacher is right there, wouldn't you? I'd go straight to the back. Do you know what I remember that hasn't aged well? She was like, right, you need to know how to do these multiplications because one day you're not gonna have a calculator on you all the time, are you? So you need to know how to do them. Little did she know that the iPhone would say, ha, you're wrong. Oh, I forgot about these for art lessons. Do you know what? I tried, okay, this is math. This is math in a classroom. I tried to make it happy. There's always a random corner with stuff in. So I put that there and I've got some lockers, some books and yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. Let's move on to the next classroom. Do you know what? I'm feeling a colorful room. So we're gonna make computer skills really nice and colorful. One thing that was so annoying in computer skills class was they had the class, which was teeny tiny, by the way, and they had all these computers, which were obviously boiling, and then they have a window that big. No, I'm not having it. I'm gonna give my Sims a nice one. So in our one, we basically just had these desks around the side of the wall like this. And then we'd have a couple of these in the middle. So like if we were doing theory computers, we would have these in the middle. And if we were working on computers, we'd be on the side there, which I know is strange. So that's basically how mine was laid out. So this was the layout basically. So if you're doing computer theory, we'd sit down here and listen to him here and he'd go on the computer screen this used to be. He'd connect it to his computer and then we could see it bigger on that board. And then we'd all go on the computers when we had to design something really. The walls were definitely not this color, but I thought, you know, we got or add some prettiness to it. And then I'm gonna put these bookshelves here from Dream Home Decorator. Honestly, I really like these. I honestly can't remember using this. I swear I said it in a video before, but I swear that pack came out and everyone forgot about it so quickly afterwards. These are so cute, oh my God. I think I'm gonna leave this classroom right here. I really like it actually. Okay, last classroom. I wanted to do a woodwork one, but that's, that's not an option for the subjects that you teach or learn, so I 
don't know about that. So the other options we have are foreign language, language arts, and business skills. Which I don't know if I'm really feeling, to be honest, but it's it's one of the lessons you learn about, so I guess I'll have to do it. Or maybe I could just do this. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this a neutral. I'm gonna do this a neutral class, and then you can teach whatever you want to teach in here. I could make this like almost like a kid's one, Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be a kid's one. Oh, and we can have like these beanbag chairs for the kids to sit on, oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, that's adorable. Where are the little kids' desks gone? You know, the ones that match the little bookshelf I had then, where are they gone? <gasps> Oh my God, I'm just an idiot. Oh my God, I'm having the best time doing this one. Look how cute it is. Oh no, they're cuter. That is so much cuter. Oh, I can't. Look at all the little desks we get. Oh, that's so cute. So you could technically send your little Sims. Oh my God, you could, oh my God, that's so cute. You could send them while you're in school. You could send the little kids here. I love that, so cute. Look, you got a little bit there to read stories to the kids and they can come and play and, Oh my god, make so many things. I'm honestly, I'm having the best time. This is so cute. Okay, this is it. This is my little Sims classroom. It's so cute. You can take the toddlers here. They'd have, honestly, the best time. I'm pretty sure they can sleep on these little things as well, but you could always add a bed if you wanted to. So yeah, which classroom is your favourite? I still think it's the art one, to be honest, because that is really pretty, but the kids one is a close second. Oh my god, I had so much fun building this. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite i'm actually doing a let's play wait that is not in i'm actually doing a let's play of the high school pack if you want to go watch that it's linked down below give this video a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one soon bye